Big indication NASA's moon rocket might be canceled far sooner than planned. So critics have called the space launch system outdated and wasteful for years. But now with President Trump retaking the White House, Boeing is warning its employees who work on the SLS they could soon lose their jobs. Boeing gave us a statement over the weekend that reads, quote, to align with revisions to the Artemis program and cost expectations, we informed our space launch system team of a, the potential for approximately 400 fewer positions by April of 2025. New 6's James Barbero has much more on this story from the Space Coast. 140 Boeing employees were just laid off after a bad 2024 for the company, which was emphasized by its Starliner capsule's failure to bring home two astronauts from the International Space Station. Now the aerospace giant expects even more layoffs in Florida, as the future of NASA's moon program is uncertain. Dr. Ken Kramer joins me now in Titusville. We're across the Indian River where Artemis II is supposed to launch with its latest delay now about a year from now. So, Ken, you were reporting here when the space shuttle came to an end. With this latest Boeing statement, do you think the writing's on the wall for SLS, too? It sure seems like that. SLS is years behind schedule and billions over budget. But to cancel it now is completely idiotic, because what this is going to do is enable the communist Chinese. At some point in the future, yeah, maybe we can replace SLS, but not in the next few years. Nothing is going to be ready. Ken's referring to the Chinese claiming they can put their own astronauts on the moon by 2030. About two months ago, when Bill Nelson was still NASA administrator, he also touched on what Ken's saying, that SLS currently is the only human-rated vehicle that can carry astronauts to the moon. Listen. And so I expect that this is going to continue, and I don't see that you're suddenly going to have Starship take over everything. Also in December, I was inside the vehicle assembly building where the SLS rocket for Artemis II is currently being stacked. We talked to the mission managers and the astronauts about the rumors of canceling SLS. They, though, were more focused on their tasks at hand. I don't think anybody here has any time to think about anything else other than getting this vehicle processed, getting it rolled out to the pad, and flying the crew safely. Looking at the core stage that my crew and I are going to ride on and fly to the moon. And so am I excited? <laughs> I'm super excited. It's an extraordinary opportunity. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6. And be sure to sign up to get the big space story sent straight to your inbox. It is all a part of our Covering the Space Coast and Beyond newsletter from News 6 Space Coast reporter James Barvero. Subscribe at clickorlando.com newsletter.